operation Linainchi was the code name for a coordinated military operation between the Kenyan and Somalia military that began on 16th October 2011 when the Kenyan troops crossed into the conflict zones of southern Somalia. The soldiers were in pursuit of Al-Shabaab militants that were alleged to have been behind the kidnapping of several foreign tourists and two Spanish women working for Medicines San Frontiers at the Dadaab refugee camp. The Kenyan military during the incursion ruled and set exit date for the operation but said the mission was to cripple Al-Shabaab's capabilities. United Nations Charter to remove Al-Shabaab not only from our country but even closer to our country. And I had the opportunity of meeting with uh, Johnny Castle, the Assistant Under Secretary of State for African Affairs. He was asking me, General, do you think your armed forces will be able to liberate Kisman. I told him, we are better than the American. But it was not long before retaliatory attacks on Kenya began with numerous grenade attacks reported mostly in Nairobi, Mombasa, Mandera and Lamu among other targets. The Kenya Defense Forces, on the other hand, making progress in Somalia and even managed to liberate the last frontier of the militants in Mogadishu. The militants would later in September 2013 retaliate by putting a siege at the Westgate Mall in the heart of Kenya's capital Nairobi killing 67 people, among them foreigners. The group claimed responsibility of the attack. But the Umpeketoni massacre that left more than 60 people dead and which the Al-Shabaab once again claimed responsibility proved that the militia was still active in the Kenyan soil. The brutal killing of the 28 non-Muslim Kenyans in Mandera Bas and the quarry massacre in the same county late last year left the country in shock over the dimension the enemy was taking. Fast forward and the country is still in shock over the killing of 147 people, mostly students in the Garissa University College, five days ago. Al-Shabaab has claimed responsibility. KDF, on the other hand, is said to have bombed two Al-Shabaab camps in Gedo region near Kenya's border, with Western Somalia dissipating hundreds of militants. Samson Kitavi, Channel One, News.